just looking at the uh, the the first twenty one seconds of this, he was talking about asset classes, as you can see on his laptop and on the screen there. That that brings to memory something. When I was being illegally and unlawfully and high treasonously and selectively prosecuted by the the Alabama State Lee Hall District Attorney for defending my own life. Some of the things the judges said were, if you can't afford a lawyer, I suggest you sell off some of your assets so that you can. The fucking judges were telling people to sell their assets and pay the court appointed attorney that the judge appoints to you and that court appointed attorney don't do jack shit for you I'm gonna be honest not that any attorney in any state of legality in America would do jack shit for you but here in Alabama it is especially corrupt because the judge was soliciting people to sell their homes so that they could afford to pay the court. Let that sink the fuck in of how corrupt and how abusive and how manipulative and how shady and how fucked up and how much of a treason committing shithole that the American way of life really is. And it's not just that way here in the state of Alabama. As you Americans are learning the hard fucking way. And I'm absolutely livid to watch you fucking suffer learning the hard way from your own ignorance and stupidity. You wanna know why I call you all niggers even though you're not black? Not all of you? It's because it means NIGGER! Noun! An ignorant person! Get the fucking memo now? You've all been ignorant of how greedy and corrupt the American, what is it that they called it? Capitalist economy is. It's a for-profit system. Who does it profit? The fucking legal system. The fucking attorneys, the lawyers, the judges, and hire. Who does it prosecute for just existing? Me. You. The postman down the street. Who does it enslave? Everyone. The people in charge are a slave to their false power, their false idols, their false god of power. And the coronavirus just shredded that to fucking pieces. And they're bailing out the billionaires who lost theoretical fallacy paper I'm not calling it money or currency for the sake of everyone's understanding. It's a cycle of circle jerk fallacies. That's what it is. It's the old Greek or Roman fallacy. It's just in the form of a piece of paper you stick in your fucking wallet or purse. And no, we do not need to go to a blockchain currency. Which is what they're pushing for, but it isn't going to happen. I'm going to be honest with you, humanity. That's not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen. I see two possibilities. I see the virus killing off between 30 and 80% of humanity. And it being a really big fuck fest after that. And everyone killing themselves off through their own ignorance and stupidity. And I see World War III. Brought on by either the American populace being so pissed off with the assholes in power being so jaded and out of touch with reality and having zero real world and zero life experience that there's a civil war that leads to the other nations going, hey, fuck it. These assholes in charge of America have fucked us over long enough too. We want in on that shit. Or I see China. Going, okay, I'm sick of your fucking American shit. Stop pointing the goddamn fingers, okay? Enough is enough. 
This outbreak fucked everyone on the planet over, not just you. Quit being a little social justice warrior snowflake bitch. It's time for a real fucking fight between us. And I see China nuking the living fuck out of the East Coast. As a start. And I see Russia coming in from the West Coast. And I see every other country having a fucking go at America. Or, I see both of those situations happening simultaneously with the American uh, fucking aristocracy suffering a fucking buttfuck from every country on the planet and the citizens having a revolt in a civil war. That's what I see. And America is leaning heavily toward having the civil war and the world war at the same damn time. And that paperwork that I've sent to the fucking Supreme Court saying, hey, surrender the government to my fucking control. Give it to me now. Fuck you. You're corrupt. Get the fuck out of my way. Go kill yourself. Give me the fucking country now. That'll only buy humanity five years at most. And the longer that it's delayed, the exponentially shorter that time becomes. Every second ticking on the clock now means days, months, and years of time being wasted. That's how exponential growth works. Just ask uh, Peak Prosperity. He'll tell you about it with the viral pathology. He's been keeping track of the coronavirus's bullshit and how it's fucking over everything. All this is relative and relevant. Chaos theory. Cogs in the machine that interact with other cogs in the machine that are inside of a cog, spinning around, interacting with that cog they're inside of that is interacting with other cogs of the same caliber and variety. And it keeps growing from there. That's chaos theory in a nutshell. Everything I've said is relevant and relative because it all interacts either directly or indirectly. And if it interacts indirectly, it's directly affecting something else that I either have or have not mentioned. That's a problem with the current situation that humanity is in. And you're all going to fuck yourselves over. And I'm going to watch. Because I know for an absolute, the American government's too fucking gone, too fucking corrupt to surrender to me. Even though I know what the fuck I'm talking about. And I know you can't run a government. A government's a fallacy. It's been tried and died several times throughout history. You know the only thing that has survived? A fucking tribe. A family. And you assholes are acting like a bunch of bitches fucking each other over for fucking scraps of paper. Literally. You're fucking each other over. Don't believe me? Go get a fucking prostitute off the street. Don't believe me? Go fight in a fucking war. You're fucking each other over for a bit of fucking paper. And that's gonna stop. And it's gonna stop the hard fucking way. Because you're not gonna listen to me telling you plainly. Give me control of your fucking corrupt country. I'll fix it. You're not gonna fucking listen. You're not going to listen to me telling you it's time to rise up and revolt against these oppressors. I said that months ago. I said that like two years ago. Nobody fucking listened then. But you'll fucking listen to your starry fucking asses. You'll fucking listen to me now when I'm saying things that you should have done years ago. Because now it's pertinent. It's dire. It's an absolute necessity that you revolt on the oppressors who are fucking you over for a bit of fucking paper. The way my mind works. Let me explain this to you fucking idiots. You have your standard Euclidean 3D geometry, right? And you fucking idiot humans, you think that time is this big wibbly wobbly swirly fourth dimension. No the fuck it's not. It's the same Euclidean 3D geometry. Time isn't time. That's a fallacy. Fuck that. The fourth dimension is movement. 
is motion, inertia, and momentum. It is continuance. That's what the fourth dimension is. And I, thinking in that mannerism as a baseline, can see all the potential variations of the path that goes along continuance with the actions that you fucking idiots are committing to right now. I can see the probable outcome in the future. If you travel along this line of continuance, you will achieve this fucking end or this outcome. If you travel along this one, you will achieve that fucking outcome. If you travel along this other one over here, you'll get that fucking thing over there. If you go this way, you'll wind up over there. If you go that way, you'll wind up over there. That's how the fourth dimension works. It's just movement, inertia, momentum, continuance. Okay? It's a standard 3D Euclidean geometry. That's all it is. That's not time. Time is a circle jerk fallacy. Just like the fucking ancient Greek or Roman fallacy. Yeah, go carry your dick around with wings on it, okay? Go feed your dick your Red Bull, okay? Yeah, fuck off. I'm done talking.